What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video today. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the video games that have been confirmed to be coming out in 2019 that I am most excited for. I have five games that are coming out this year. It hasn't been announced the release dates of all of them yet. One of them's already come out, but I'm going to be getting it sometime in 2019. That's why I wanted to add it to this list here because I'm really excited for it. But all of these games are not the top games that have been announced for this year. This year, there's tons of games that are coming out, but these are the five that interest me the most as of right now. So let's get right into this. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the one that has already been released. It was released on February 15th, and that is Far Cry New Dawn. I fell in love with Far Cry series. The first game that I played was Far Cry 5. I honestly loved everything about that game. I actually went and beat the whole campaign. I have to go back and play and finish off some of the other trophies. I never got to play uh, online the arcade mode. I never got to try that yet. But I plan on doing that and going off and platinum the game. It's very possible to do that as long as you see and follow everything that you need to do for the trophies. It's all in all a really fun game. The story is amazing. And Far Cry New Dawn is a continuation from where Far Cry 5 ended. It's, I think in the story it's actually 17 years after the events of Far Cry 5. So it's going to be very exciting to see what happened at the end of Far Cry 5. A lot of big stuff happened. I don't want to spoil it because I know one of my friends that might watch this video has not had a chance to play Far Cry 5 yet and hasn't seen the ending. So I don't want to spoil it for him or anybody else. But to see what happens and how Far Cry New Dawn starts because of what happened at the end of Far Cry 5 is going to be amazing. I can't wait to check it out. But what I've seen so far is it's more of an apocalyptic game, which as you guys know, I love zombie games. I love stuff like that. End of the world scenario games. So Far Cry New Dawn is definitely on the top of my list that I'm most excited for. I can't wait to get it and start trying it out. And I'm really excited to see what it has to offer and what kind of story it's all about. Next up is... One that I know not everybody is a fan of, but the reason why I get these games every year is because I have a collection of the past 16 years straight of collecting this video game. That is WWE 2K20. Whenever it comes to 2K, I know 2K10 for NBA was a phenomenal game, and it seems like at the start of every decade, they go all out. So I'm assuming WWE 2K20 is going to be a phenomenal game, and they're going to go all out for it like they did back in 2010. So I'm really excited to see what they do for the game. I love the game. Like I said, I've collected the game for 16 years now. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see and continue my series and continue collecting that game. Next one for me, I am a huge fan of NHL, so I'm really excited for NHL 20. For me, I only get an NHL video game every two years. That way I have a long time to play the game. I've been, I've been playing NHL 18 for a while now. Multiple and multiple seasons worth of gameplay and gameplay hours and everything and just so much fun. So now it's time to upgrade to the next game and NHL 20 is going to be that for me. So I'm really excited to get that game to see what it's about. I'm hoping EA does similar thing whenever it comes to sports games like 2K does and for the start of a decade to start off really strong with a phenomenal game. I really want to see how they compare with how 2K does it at the start of a decade as well. The next game here has been confirmed, but it has not been announced on the exact release date, and that is Need for Speed Underground 3. I honestly love Need for Speed. It's one of my favorite series. Need for Speed Payback, I honestly was not a fan of. It didn't have that Need for Speed feeling in it. It wasn't the same as some of the old games, but Need for Speed Underground 3 is one of the a uh, series that I started on back whenever I had the PlayStation 2, back whenever I started to get into the Need for Speed series, Underground was one of my favorite games. And back then, I was getting so many Need for Speed games. There was so much fun. So I'm hoping with Need for Speed Underground 3 that they are basically going back to their roots and it's more of a street racing mentality in the game and a story and stuff like that. Kind of like Fast and the Furious. That's what I used to love about the franchise. So I'm hoping they go back to the roots and do something like that. That would be very creative to see them actually do. I love the story for Need for Speed 2015. I kind of like the story for Need for Speed Payback, but the fact that it's in Vegas is pretty interesting, but the gameplay itself is not the greatest. So that's the main reason why I'd like to see them go back to their roots. Maybe New York, maybe LA, something like that. 
and a whole bunch of street racing would be nice to see, and a whole bunch of new customization options to make a wicked drift car, street racer, something phenomenal like you see in the Fast and Furious franchise. And the last one here is Overkill's The Walking Dead. I am a Walking Dead fan, I've already explained that. I love this kind of style of video game where it's kind of the end of the world and it's uh, a survival game is also what I'm interested in. So this game here, I've seen a lot of gameplay. You have a basically a camp and that seems to be your mission hub. Whole bunch of stuff to do, open world. You can go and play how you will, but you have to go and do the certain missions and beat those certain missions. But by the sounds of it, you can go and do them however you want. Sadly for Overkill's The Walking Dead, it was supposed to be released in 2018. That got pushed back until February 2019, and then that has just been pushed back into an unknown time right now. So it's unknown when it's going to come out. It's supposed to be out in 2019. I hope it does because I'm really excited for this game and I really want to play it. This game here is four-person co-op, and it looks like it's going to be phenomenal. It's the same experience you'd get if you were playing it on your own, if you play it with friends. So that's what I really like to see. The Last of Us, even though it was a great story and a great campaign, the online portion of it, whenever you're playing with friends, in my opinion, sucked. It had no zombies in it, so overkills. It's going to be more of a survival situation whenever you can play with your friends. I think that's going to be phenomenal. There's some more zombie games that are coming out this year, but as a Walking Dead fan, and it's set in the Walking Dead universe, I really would like to see what exactly is going to happen with the new characters. You kind of know how the zombies are going to act, the walkers, by watching the show and reading the comics and everything about that. So it's going to be pretty nice to see what exactly is the game about. But like I said, it's been pushed back till an unknown time. I hope it is released by the end of 2019. I really would like to see that by the end of the year so I can purchase it and start playing it because I'm really excited for this game. So these have been the five video games that I'm most excited for for 2019. Like I said, one of them has already come out. Two of them have not been announced. And the two sports games, NHL 20 and WWE 2K20, they always come out every single year, so you know they're going to come out. It's just, I don't know who's on the cover right now, and I don't know the exact release date of the games and what's going to be in the games. So, I'm really excited for all of these games. Comment down below what games for 2019 you are most excited for yourself, and I really want to see what you guys think. I know there's a lot of games coming out of this year that are very interesting and I'd like to play and like to see, but these are the five games. If I'm only going to get five, these are the five games I'm definitely going to get. I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.